Hello Canofinians, this is your Canofinse and welcome back to Bugzilla tutorial. In this tutorial of Bugzilla, I am going to tell you about the bug list. Here you can see uh, total 5 bugs in your list here. Uh, if a, As you know, bug list is a group of search bugs based on the user input. The format of the list is configurable. You can see the for uh, change the format if you like to here you can see long format time summary xml csv uh feed format calendar format change columns change several bugs at once send mail to uh, bug assigns edit search remember search as so let's see when i click on this long format how the bugs are going to show here you can see the summary of the bugs uh, but you can't edit them. They these are the non editable summary uh, That means these uh, are in the long format again back, uh, go back to the short format and try other uh, That let's try that XML XML format. Let's see uh, What happened when I click? Uh, let's try first this time summary Let's see what happened when I click on this time summary. Okay, I got the option to apply more filters. I can choose the period starting of that bug and the ending period of that bug. Uh, for that particular bug, for that this particular period, uh, I can search for that particular bug. That's how this time summary works. Now let's try the third one xml format by when you click okay as you can see on your screen when you click that xml uh, format it converted the bug list uh, displayed in table format as an xml format as you can see on your screen this is the xml format if you know about the xml then which is extensible markable language let's now Take a look to the CSV that means comma separated values. Uh, let's see how CSV format looks. Okay, let me tell you see when you click on this button, it will offer you to save the bug list uh, with its summary with every bug summary as in the XML file. As you can see, you saved you down uh, your bug list has been downloaded in the uh, csv file now you can view their summary in microsoft excel that's how the csv works and now let's take a look uh, to this feed format uh, i hope you know about the atom feed that rss feeder and, uh, you will get a link it displays the bug list as an atom feed. The user can copy this link into their favorite feed reader. That's how this atom feed or you can say feed format works, looks. And now let's, this is the iCal format. That means calendar format. It displays the bug list as a calendar file. Each bug is represented as a to-do which is uh, saved as .ics file you can view it in outlook only that's how this i calendar format works looks i can't say how it looks because i can't open it okay now let's talk about this change column thing it changes the bug attributes that appear in the list the user can customize the view of a bug list using this option by clicking on the uh, by clicking on this change column button okay let me show you here you can see the available number of columns select the columns you wish to appear in your bug list not that this feature requires cookies to work okay let's try this bug id okay and here selected column now change columns uh, i hope the bug id will also appear in my search result now let's see okay here this is the bug id you can see it here that's how this uh, change column thing works you can apply uh, more different columns 
you can change more uh, different columns now let's talk about this change several bugs at once if an account is sufficiently empowered and more than one bug appears in the bug list change several bugs at once is displayed and easily makes the same change to all the bugs in the list you can change the priority of all bugs uh, you can change the version of all bugs at just a single time you just need to check all bugs and you just have to specify here the version or whatever the product here that's how this change several bugs at uh, once works now let's talk about this send mail to bug assigns if more than one bug appears in the bug list and there are at least two different bug assigns this link is displayed by clicking on this link outlook opens and it is uh, you can send a mail to the assigns of all bugs on the list that's how the send mail to bug assigns work let me show you okay my outlook will appear on the screen uh, that's how the send mail to bug assigns work and this is edit search okay let me tell you about it edit search okay just go away outlook uh, let me tell you about the edit search here if the user did not get the exact results he were looking for the user can return to the search page through this link and make small revisions to the search parameters uh, so let's get back to our search page where we applied the filters the things um, and before that let me tell you about the remember search thing and this is the filter page where you can apply more filters for getting more specific search results let me tell you about the remember search as the user can give the search a name and remember it a link will appear in the page footer and you can uh, access that link to open that particular bug list that's how that remember search as uh, button works well i hope you guys got now about uh, the every format uh, the every format for displaying that particular bug list if you are want to display in a, in a different manner uh, if you got any question or query regarding to this thing then you can ask me in the comment section below well thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also subscribe to my gaming channel which is known as gaming with canopins thank you guys